We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those. Some fly rum and felines rapping on the track. Better yet, grab a gat, cause we hot like Enzo. Doors closed, windows up, cause that's the way we like to ride. Windy City hitting. Check mic 1212. We live, baby. Hey Chicago and welcome back to Speak Your Mind Radio. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Queen Star, aka Miss Hip Hop. And today we have another dope episode, okay? First, before we get into it, let me give a shout out to my homeboy, Miguel from the Just Chillin' Podcast, because this is actually how I found this dope podcast called Black Feelings. Okay, so without further ado, you guys, bring it up next to the mic, the host of the one and only Black Villains podcast, my girl Monica and Layla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Wait, you. Say that again, Ilya. <laughs> no, I'm saying my name is Ilya. Oh shit, it's Ilya. Yes. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. It's like Ilya, okay. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. I. I'm so sorry, Ilya. It's okay. Okay, so you guys, that's dope. Um, let's get started. Um, here at Speaking Mind Radio, we do a traditional icebreaker question for each and every guest. Let's go. This is for both of you guys. What is your definition of girl power? Wow. <laughs> that's heavy hitting for the first question. Let me ponder. I mean, I would just say women empowering each other. Yeah. Um, and advocating for themselves, mm -hmm. uh, taking control, not backing down, or shrinking ourselves for other people. Exactly. I really love that answer. Me too. Me too. I feel like I can't top that. I just I feel, feel like, like that's, that's awesome. That shit dope. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I, um, I want to uh, ask you to tell everyone First of all, how y'all met and where you're from and your purpose and goals for the Black Feelings podcast. Okay. Well, we met in school. Well, I'm originally from Brooklyn. We met at FIT. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, we, I feel like we were like two peas in the pods ever since we met in 2013, was it? Or my, it's 2013, right? Oh my gosh. So long ago. I know. <laughs> um... So we met, we became really close friends. Um, fast forward a lot of years later, Monica started going to therapy and telling me about her journey in therapy, which um, inspired me to start going to therapy. And we would just always like talk about our sessions or what we learned or what we're working on. And then Monica decided to leave me and go to Portland. And I think like my boyfriend Matthew, like he brought up like, oh, I have this microphone you could use if you ever want to get into podcasting. And I always wanted to start a podcast, but I didn't know, like, what about. And then when the mental health, like, when we had these conversations about mental health, it kind of clicked. And then we started this podcast. Well, that's uh, pretty cool and everything like that. I think the, the concept of the podcast is so dope to me. And you can tell, like, even through, I want to talk about the logo, the creation of the logo. Because you guys are so knit, like, so close-knit. And it's beautiful and empowering to see Black women together like that. I just... I can't get over it. And when I listen to your podcast, I know I'm talking a lot. I listen to your podcast. I felt like I went to a therapy session. I felt like I was laughing and talking with my girlfriends, you know, I was like answering back and reacting and shit. I was like, they can't hear me. But <laughs> it was like really dope though and everything like that. So, um, Monica, you, in one of the episodes, uh, the last episode, you really learned about a lot about uh, uh, self, you did a lot of self-reflecting about standing up for yourself and not taking nobody's bullshit and not giving uh, zero to none fucks left. I, I like that, that, pro, that viewpoint. Talk about that. Uh, I would definitely say, so I've been in therapy, oh, I don't know, three, four years now. Yeah. And I will definitely say that's probably one of the biggest takeaways that I've had from it because before I was, I'm still a quiet person, but before I would keep a lot of things to myself. 
um, people would kind of be able to walk over me and I would complain about it to other people, but I would never like confront them. Um, especially in work, I feel like I got bulldozed in a lot of situations in past companies. And I don't know, my therapist just has really helped me find my voice. And, and sometimes now I feel like I kind of have to rein myself in like, okay, you can speak your mind and speak your truth, but you don't have to go in like that. So, I mean, I am like happy to, to be at that point and I don't know I really just kind of feel so full when I think about it because I'm so happy that I have that power now to speak up for myself because some people it's really easy some people you know it's a no-brainer but a lot of people it's you know speaking up for yourself is a really hard thing to do yes I totally agree with you and it shows the growth um in your soul it just shows so much you feel me um now Aaliyah, you just had a 30th birthday and you talked about the birthday blues on the episode. Now, a lot of women fucking go through that shit. Um, my mom used to tell me 25, everything goes downhill. I'm like, you're Damn, right. 25. You know, whatever. You know? <laughs> That's so early. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, not me. It happened at 30, though. But, uh... <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just like, you know, you come to the point where you realize, like, I really have to take care of myself now. You know what I'm saying? I can't yeah. eat what I want to eat. I can't do what I want to do. I have to sleep. I have to do this. I have to do that. You know, I have to adult, you know? Definitely. So tell me your experience of your your, your your epiphany, so to speak, on your birthday. You feel me? Because you talked about being a little girl and not having that special day to yourself. Yeah, I did feel like that. Um. I feel like as more days come by, I'm like adopting the advice that Monica told me, which is like, I don't give a fuck. So before I felt like when I would talk to certain friends, I would like hold myself back. Like I wouldn't say certain things because I don't want to like offend people or not really give a piece of my mind. Mm. I'm like, fuck that. You're 30. You don't vibe with this. So you're going to say that you don't vibe with this and you're just going to speak your truth. And if people fall off or whatever the case may be, it is what it is. Like, I had to be true to myself, and I'm trying to, like, stick with that. Amen. Amen. So much growth in both of you young ladies. I'm so proud of you. Um, Okay, so now tell us, like, how often you guys will uh, drop each episode, and, like, how do you, like, you know, you know, bounce ideas off of each other, say, like, okay, this episode, let's talk about this, or whatever. How do you come together? Um, Well, (laughs) sometimes we'll have a guest that we can interview and Eileen and I will kind of just connect on what questions we want to ask um and then usually when we don't have a guest we'll just check in with each other about our recent sessions um and that's usually the flow it's like either an interview or it's us catching up with one another I think in the next coming season we're going to try to incorporate maybe some more lighthearted things like we want to do an episode talking about like therapy in the media or like tv nice. um, how that shapes our perception but um yeah it's mostly like interviews and us kind of like walking through our sessions and things we've learned okay so uh speaking of you know bouncing ideas off the head and everything let's just get into a little bit of the pet talk I found that episode really, <laughs> really intriguing. I know you're like, oh, ain't you can't be like, no, because I'll be feeling the same way <laughs> Ali will be feeling about my damn cat, you know? You know, you have to give them a little voice, you know, because like she said, you can't, they can't tell you, no, I don't like to be pet on top of my head. You know, you have to stand up for them like, no, they don't like that. So that's pretty dope. So tell us a few tips, Ilea, of how your little fur ball can, you know, uh, help you cope with anxiety or stress or moments of depression. Oh, that's a really good one. One thing that I'm really picking up on is that animals or like dogs, like they give clues that they're uncomfortable with something before it gets like to a tipping point. Mm. So like he might lick his lips. Or, like, start showing his teeth. But these are all, like, subtle signs that you could miss it, like, very easily. And then you're like, why are you going off? Out of, like, when it's, like, it's building up. But you have to be, like, really mindful. So one thing Tully has showed me is that I had to be really present to make sure that I catch these moments. And so I could better know, like, okay, he's stressed out. Maybe we need to dial it back. We should go over here. And I feel like it shows me a lot about myself because I feel like oftentimes, for me at least, like, I could ignore signs within myself 
like oh, I'm feeling a certain kind of way and I'm not really doing check-ins with myself and then I reach to a certain level and it's like well technically I've had all these signs but now like you're at this level where if I was like checking in with myself like on a daily or weekly basis I would have known like okay you're getting to this level maybe we need to do extra stuff like maybe you need extra sunlight or more sleep or something so we could balance this out that's dope as hell that you just said all that because I felt that and I feel you. Monica, what about you? What's your name of your pup? Uh, his name is Hirsch, but I've been calling him Hershey. Oh, but yeah. That's his new name. That's so cute. Does he respond to both? Both? He's responding less to Hirsch because I've been relying on Hershey. Like the trainer told me that dogs respond to two syllable names better. And I was like, all right, well, I need to train him. So I'm going to, you know, <laughs> adjust whatever he'll listen to. I didn't um, know that, sorry. That's dope. I've enjoyed, I really enjoyed having a pet uh, for a lot of reasons, but I would say the main ones is I can get like hyper-focused when it comes to like work or if I'm working on a project. And he reminds me to like step away and like take a moment, you know, to bond with him, but also like for myself, like, all right, I don't have to be like chained to my laptop all day uh during the work day and what Ilya said in our one of our recent episodes about like you need to be the voice for your pet because they can't talk that actually resonated with me recently because I've had to tell you know someone just today like don't do that and I kind of had to like put my foot down about it because I'm like you know the dog can't say anything yeah yeah most definitely um I feel that and everything like that. I think that's uh, wonderful and everything. Um, you guys, I want to talk to you about this another part of your episode. Where you guys are talking about the gratitude jar. And I want to know, did you guys actually get started with it this year? Like, explain to everybody what the gratitude jar is. The gratitude jar is something that we've been saying we're going to do for, I feel like, a year now. Like, well, first it was like we were writing notes, like, in our phone. And Monica used to have an app where she would write things that she was grateful for. But then we also ultimately came to the thing where it's like, let's have like a mason jar or something where we could write down something we're grateful for and put it in there. We had a whole bunch of stuff where we were supposed to hold each other accountable on our podcast. Mm -hmm. But this year, we're going to like really do it. Mm -hmm. And in the last episode, we explained that, well, for me, like it's easier for me to do it. Like it was like once a week because it's more obtainable instead of like, every single day let's find yeah, yeah. something yeah i definitely forgot and have not been doing it but <laughs> i think what i'm going to do is like so in front of my uh laptop i have a wall with like a bunch of stuff up so i'm just gonna start writing it down and putting post-its on the wall because mm -hmm. i feel like that will remind me to do it at least until i get in the habit because it is something i want to do when I've done it in the past, it was really nice to go back and look at all of those notes for the things that you were grateful for, the things that made you smile. So I want to have that, but I just, I just keep forgetting y'all. <laughs> Yo, silly. I, I definitely agree. And it inspired me to do it today. And I had two blessings in one day. Some Two things I was grateful, to, grateful for in one day, whereas any other day I may have forgotten, you know? Yeah. It's very um, inspiring and that's therapeutic too because I know I get hard on myself a lot of times like oh you shouldn't do that, that you know like no don't speak to yourself like that speak nicely and yeah. remember how far you've come you know so it's cool I love that yeah, yeah. me too and thank you for reminding me you yeah. guys are so welcome I mean I literally was thinking about uh oh it's breaking up a little bit Monica can y'all hear me Alia, uh -oh. oh, that might be my phone. Let me see. It is not coming back in, ladies. I'm gonna have to stop. Oh, there you go. It, it went out for a minute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> so yeah, um, what was the last thing I was saying? Damn. <laughs> anyway, um, can you guys sorry? Can you guys hear that beep in the back? Oh, I thought that was me. I didn't hear nothing. I heard a peep, but I thought it was Matthew like making something in a microwave. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear anything. But um, let's talk about music a little bit. Um, this podcast is mainly music, but really I interview just about anyone that has a beautiful talent 
or are there entrepreneurs starting, you know, starting their new business? But I have a uh, what's it call it? An album suggestion for you guys, and it's Girl Empowerment. So bad. It's called. Uh, Hex Hotel and it's by Jasmine Sullivan. She dropped it like January 8th. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So y'all already listened to it? I haven't listened to it yet, but I heard it's really good. It is. Monica, you heard it? I have, and I'll be honest, I've only listened all the way through a couple times. I keep getting like stuck on a couple songs that I'm playing over and over, but um, it's really good. I love her voice. I love her energy. I like the interludes. Um, it gets me in my bag. Like, I'm listening to what song, Lost Ones, like, acting like I'm going through a breakup when I'm not. But I'm just, like, listening to it like, yep. Yes, girl. Yes. I think Lost Ones is about you being lost in other relationships that you were once with. Because you, you can't lose yourself in a relationship. That's it if you do. You feel me? That is, yeah. It's a done deal, you know? But, uh, yeah. So, ladies, it was so nice talking to you. I hope that we can do this again. And I, I look forward to more podcast interactions from you guys because I like to have girl conversations all the time. It's dope. So, <laughs> thank you for having us. And yeah, thank you. Us onto your music platform. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gay. Uh, tell everyone where they can uh, listen to the podcast. They can listen to us wherever they listen to podcasts. Apple Music, uh, Google Play, Spotify. I'm missing a whole bunch. I Heart, Ma- Heart Media. Yes. Uh, am I missing one, Mon? Stitcher. Did you just say yes, Stitcher. Stitcher. Yeah. Anchor. Um, I think that's everything. And our handle is Black Feelings with No Vowels. So it's B-L-K-F-L-N-G-S. Uh, and that's also our Instagram handle and then our Gmail address if anybody wants to like hit us up if they have questions or suggestions. Dope. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Now I know how to spell black villains. No vows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ilea, would you want to say one more thing? No, just thanks for having me on. For sure, y'all. Yeah. Um, Damn. Check us out. <laughs> season three will be coming out soon. You said season three coming out soon. Black Villains Podcast. Thank you, girls, for coming in. And mm-hmm. peace. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you, girls, so much for.